Pokemon Sword and Shield are the newest Pokemon games in this series set to release November 15th, 2019. These games will bring us a brand new generation of Pokemon, new characters, a fresh new story and a bunch of new features, as well as missing some. In this video I wanted to run through everything we know so far about the upcoming games including the most recent 24 hour stream. Let's not waste any time, we have a lot to cover, let's just get straight into it. Starting off, let's go through all the new Pokemon that have been revealed so far, including the Galarian forms. Grookey, Scorbunny, Sobble, Wooloo, Gossifleur, Eldegoss, Dreadnought, Corviknight, Zossian, Zamazenta, Alchemy, Rolicoli, Yamper, Duraludon, Impidimp, Morpico, Galarian Weezing, Galarian Zigzagoon, Galarian Linoon, Obstagoon, Cramorant, Poltegeist, Surfetched, and the newest reveal of this video, Galarian Ponyta. So that's the new Pokemon, my favourite personally being Cramorant, I think he is so cool. But let's quickly go through the rest of the Pokemon from previous generations that we know haven't got cut yet, and this is going to take a while. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree, Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu, Cleffa, Clefairy, Clefable, Vulpix, Ninetales, Oddish, Gloom, Vileplume, Blossom, Diglett, Dugtrio, Growlithe, Arcanine, Machomp, Machoke, Machamp, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, Onyx, Steelix, Tyrogue, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Hitmontop, Coughing, Weezing, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Rhyperia, Goldeen, Sea King, Magikarp, Gyarados, Lapras, Ditto, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon, Munchlax, Snorlax, Hootoot, Noctowl, Chincho, Lantern, Togepi, Togetic, Togekiss, Bonsly, Sudowoodo, Wooper, Quagsire, Why Not, Wooperfet, Quillfish, Sneasel, Weavile, Mantike, Mantine, Larvitar, Pupitar, Trianitar, Lotad, Lombre, Ludicarlo, Wingle, Pelipper, Rolts, Curlia, Gardevoir, Gallade, Sableye, Mawile, Electric, Mainetric, Badoo, Rosalia, Roserade, Whalmer, Whale Lord, Trapinch, Vibraver, Flygon, Beltoy, Claydol, Phoebus, Milotic, Duskull, Dusclops, Dusnoir, Snowrun, Glalie, Frostlass, Combi, Vespaquin, Cherubi, Cherim, Shallows, Gastrodon, Drifloon, Driflim, Bronzor, Bronzong, Rylu, Lucario, Hopotus, Hippowdon, Krogunk, Toxicroak, Snova, Abomasnow, Rotom, Purloin, Lipod, Pidove, Tranquil, Unpheasant, Rog and Roller, Poldor, Gigalith, Wubat, Swubat, Timber, Gerda, Congalda, Timpol, Palpatode, Seismitoad, Fro, Sork, Cottony, Wismascot, Maractus, Sigilith, Trubbish, Garbodor, Minichu, Chinichu, Solosis, Duosion, Reuniclus, Vanillite, Vanillish, Vanillux, Carablast, Escalvia, Frillish, Jellicent, Joltic, Galvantula, Pharoseed, Pharofawn, Litwick, Lampant, Chandelure, Axu, Fraxa, Haxorus, Golet, Golurk, Rufflet, Braviary, Dino, Svilus, High Dragon, Bunnelby, Diggersby, Pancham, Pangoro, Esper, Meowstic, Honedge, Duoblade, Aegislash, Swirlex, Slurpuff, Inke, Malamar, Helioptal, Heliolisk, Harlucha, Gumi, Sligu, Gudra, Phantom, Trevenant, Pumkaboo, Gorgeist, Bergmite, Avalug, Noibat, Noivern, Grubbin, Chargerbug, Beakervolt, Cutiefly, Ribombi, Wishywash, Marini, Toxipec, Mudbray, Mudsdale, Orlul, Shinotic, Stuffle, Beware, Bounceweet, Steeny, Starina, Wimpod, Lysopod, Togedemaru, Mimikyu, Jangmo O, Hakamo O, Komo O, and also Mew. Wow, that took a while. I might have pronounced some of them wrong, but honestly, that whole thing took like an hour to record. I had to read it off the website. 
some of them I didn't even know how to pronounce I'm not gonna lie because some of the later games I haven't played as much as the older ones so yeah that that took a long while Moving on, here are the main characters we know of so far who play a big role in the story. I'll be ignoring just the traditional trainers that you get in the game like your bug catchers and things like that. Um, this will just be the important characters only. So starting off, Professor Magnolia, the new Pokemon professor for these games, and her granddaughter and assistant, Sonia. And then of course we have Leon the Galar Champion and his brother, Hop, who is your rival but seems to be more of a friend in this game. And then we have Bead and Marnie who seem to be the big rivals in this game. And then Team Yell, Marnie's fan base. They look like they are the new Team Rocket. Whether or not they'll be the only evil team in this game, I doubt, but we'll just have to see. And then of course we have the gym leaders. So first we have Milo, the grass type gym leader. Nessa, the water type gym leader. Bia, the fighting type gym leader exclusive to Pokemon Sword. And then Alistair, the ghost type gym leader exclusive to Pokemon Shield. Next I wanted to go through what we know about the region itself. We don't actually have any names of the towns yet. We have seen quite a few. We just don't know what they're called so I won't show them just yet. Uh, and we do have an actual image of the map for this game as well. And of course, one of the new additions to this game is the wild area, where Pokemon can roam in the overworld. You also have the ability to control the camera freely to search for items or Pokemon in this part of the game. And there are many different environments in this wild area as well, so you can catch lots of different types of Pokemon. This will also lead into the next point, which are the new features we know of so far. The wild area is one of the main ones, but also a new feature called Dynamaxing. Pokemon which allows basically your Pokemon to go huge and powerful in a battle This can only be used in certain areas like gyms uh, probably like the league stuff like that Then there is also giant to maxing a bit ridiculous I know but this is basically mega evolutions, but again the Pokemon turn giant max raid battles is another new feature where you team up with a group of trainers online and take down a Dynamax Pokemon Character customization is also back. Although it isn't new, they have made it so you can do a lot more of it. So hairstyles, you can change a lot. Things like glasses, you can add basically a lot more options in it. So I just thought I'd add it on because they have changed it quite a bit. Then there is also a new auto save feature. Don't worry, it can be turned off. There also seems to be a new XP share system where it's fairly distributed between your party. Sort of similar to how most RPGs work nowadays anyway. And then there is a new Poke Camp feature, which seems to be like the feature that boosts your stats for Pokemon. Similar to how the candies worked in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but this one seems to be a bit more fun. And lastly, Poke Jobs, which seems to be mini side quests where you can send your Pokemon to gain XP. Pretty cool. So there you have it. That is everything we know about Pokemon Sword and Shield so far. I like how carefully they are revealing everything about these games, unlike Sun and Moon where they just revealed pretty much everything before the games came out. They seem to be taking it slow and it makes you more excited to play in my opinion. I hope I didn't miss anything, let me know if in the comments if there was anything I did miss, anything major anyway. I purposely skipped smaller features such as improved battle mechanics, improved models, stuff like that, because that's things we expect to be changed in every single game. Uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if you like these type of videos and see you tomorrow.